Hello YouTube people! So this is gonna be one of those low effort unboxing videos of mine. <laughs> Sorry for that, feel free to skip this video. So I am gonna unbox hopefully 9 watches today. There was new shop opening uh, in my country and as a promotion they did 60% off of a lot of things. Watches included as well. <laughs> it's a shame they didn't really have uh, many watches. They have Michael Kors, Armani, Versace, Diesel and Casio. <laughs> so guess what I bought? <laughs> so I bought almost all the G-Shock models they had and several Casios that I really wanted to try. So nine watches and as these watches are already here I kind of regret I didn't buy more <laughs> because I felt like it's too good to be true. You know 60% off of the prices which are basically the same as, as on Amazon. So I even called them asking if that was a mistake yeah, and they said everything is fine, they are just doing promotion. Just use the opportunity while you can till the evening. So I bought nine watches. Okay, let's see what watches have I bought. One package. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great, I ordered nine. Nine it is. Yes, Alex. So you can already see probably a lot of G-Shocks. And there is one watch which I'm very excited about. You, you won't expect it. So I'll tell you at the end of the video which watch is the one I was waiting for the most. And by the way, to make things clear, I haven't bought these watches because I really wanted them. I bought them because I got a good deal. So I personally wouldn't buy some of these G-Shocks, but come on, after all, they're still G-Shocks and I love G-Shocks and I, I like Casio a lot. And never had any problems, never had any quality control problems, no with G-Shocks or Casio, so it should be good. Okay, you know what? Let's put G-Shocks aside for now. It's five G-Shocks, yeah, five G-Shocks. Okay, now, Let's start with this Casio Vintage. Nice packaging, kind of Casio. Okay, <laughs> you know what? I'll. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to open this one first. You know when I told you that there is one watch that I'm excited the most about. You know what? I'll go straight ahead and will tell you that this is that one this is the watch that i'm excited the most about let's open the package golden a159 wga e sorry bad english so it's basically f91 w except it's shiny golden my gosh, that looks amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Out, out of all these watches, this is the one I was actually waiting for the most. And the inside of the bracelet is golden as well. In some Amazon pictures, the inside of the bracelet is not golden. By the way, this is a black G-Shock, which I modded to be white. <laughs> I did a video on this, there is a video on my channel about this watch, wonderful. So I just want to see how this would look like on my hand very quickly, let's open it. Okay, I need to size it up for me, but... Wow! That's so cool! Golden Casio! <laughs> Could it be any better? <laughs> oh yes. Yes. Golden buttons, golden LCD. Oh my gosh, lovely. Doesn't it look lovely? Okay, I need to size it up, so let's put it aside for now. By the way, if you're wondering, this is a DW5750E. Look at this beauty. It's amazing, it's amazing. Another Casio, of course Casio, the old Casios. And, ta-da! Oh! A lot of you guys were recommending me this watch. I was, and also, I was tempting by this watch by myself. Okay, 
let's peel off the stickers. Yeah, hold on, I wanna see it myself first. Man, it looks much better in person than on pictures. Much better. You know, in pictures it looks very plastic, very, very so so, very so so. In real, in person, I can instantly tell it looks rather sharp. I kind of like it. By directional bezel, no clicks. Alignment is just perfect as usual with Casio. Man, this is lovely watch. This is lovely watch. You know what? Let's put this G-Shock aside for now. Let's put this one on the hand. I hope I'm not making this video too boring. You know, I, as I told you, this is low effort video. I just want to have some fun. Feel free to just stop watching. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to sound rude. I hope you're enjoying anyway. Man, these guys are so amazing. This feels a lot. This feels kind of like this G-Shock on the hand. Looks nice, doesn't it? My gosh, that's amazing. I can I can tell you instantly. I like it. I like it a lot. And one thing I was afraid of is the size. I don't know the size. The size I don't remember, but in the listings, the size seemed to be a little bit big. But on the hand and in person, as I see it on the wrist. It really doesn't look big. It looks perfect. Doesn't it look perfect on me? Perfect. Wow. It's it's wonderful. Okay, let's keep it on the hand. Let's open up next Casio. You know what? Casio is just like one Casio is never enough. Two Casios. What? Just two Casios? You have to buy more. Three Casios? A little bit better, but just three, three Casios? Come on, you have to buy more. <laughs> Right now, I don't even know how many Casios I have. I should make a video about all the watches I currently have. <laughs> okay, this one. Let's peel off the sticker. And the reason why I bought this one is that I currently have one just like this one, except with negative LCD screen. And that ne negative LCD screen is so bad. I mean, in comparison, this G-Shock has such a good negative display, it's wonderful. I bought this one with negative display as well and I was so disappointed, I don't even want to do the review. So I bought the one with positive display, so it kind of counterbalances the review. I might gonna feature both of these watches in the review, so the review won't turn out to be extra negative, you know. <laughs> because the watch itself is kind of nice. It's pretty good. The watch is like for the money. I mean, 100 meters water resistance, 10 year battery. One thing, okay, let's keep all those things for the review. I uh, just told you the main thing why I bought it. Because I think for the price, this is wonderful watch, really. Okay, let's put it aside. By the way, still enjoying. <laughs> so good. Yeah, okay, next, the last simple Casio. What it's gonna be? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that was very impulsive buy. I got 60% off. Could you believe? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's, it's a shame I was a little bit afraid and I didn't buy more. I should have bought all of them. Like, this is crazy. Okay, the next one. Oh, you all know this watch very well, I believe fun part right listen <laughs> oh that's kind of cool so i was thinking about buying this watch for a long time but 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 i was looking at the silver variant of this watch and i was not buying it because it just i don't know it just doesn't click for me but this one the black one with positive lcd this looks okay this looks nice also 100 meters water resistance, 10 year battery, world time function. I mean, man, this is... And it has a timer. While, for example, this one. This one doesn't have timer. And it's very, it's a shame. 
such a wonderful watch and it doesn't have a timer. This one, however, it's, look, it's very similar, same specification and all, and this one has a timer. Maybe I should do a comparison video, I don't know, haven't decided yet, but this one for the price also, it's just incredible. And these buttons, these buttons are so good for, in comparison, um, G-Shock buttons, they are a little bit annoying, you know, difficult to use, while this watch is just so good, these buttons. Wow, can't wait to make the reviews, can't wait to wear these watches out to form my op final opinion and do the review. Okay, moving on to the G-Shocks, five G-Shocks, by the way, look at this beauty. Doesn't it look good? Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this watch? I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Wow. Also this golden Casio. It looks so much better in person than on these stupid pictures on Amazon and other shops. I mean, never judge a watch until you saw it in person, okay? This is just incredible. The same with this one. Guys, thank you for recommending me this watch. Wow, it's such a good watch. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, first G-Shock. It's, by the way, look, three of these boxes are gray and two of these boxes are black. So I don't know, let's mix them up. Let's do it in this sequence. Okay, gray, black, gray, black, gray. <laughs> okay, let's start with this gray box. There should be a G-Shock inside. Yes, a sealed box. So as I told you, I bought them. The main reason why I bought them because I got the very good price. That ne doesn't necessarily mean I will buy these watches for myself. But that also doesn't mean that these watches are bad. So I'm still gonna have a lot of fun with them. Okay. And <laughs> tada! <laughs> All you see is the menu. Oh, it's like like that. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry, I'm very bad at these unboxing videos. Oh, that's so cool! Tada! Oh, that's a nice what? Nice arrows. Nice hands. Wow. And this strap, inside of the strap is so soft. My gosh. Oh, separate light button. This is actually a separate light button. Wow, I wanna, I wanna put it on my hand. Okay, let's try it. By the way, I like, I like this label on the strap. It's so cool. So, uh, how to say? Utilitarian. I, I don't know in English. It looks like it's supposed to be used with tools. I mean, it looks like, feels like a proper tool watch. <laughs> I don't know what side of to put the watch on. Look, I put it upside down. For you, it's for you, it's right. For me, it's upside down. <laughs> I, I, I'm so excited. I don't even know how to push the put the watch on. Okay, okay now. Now it's correct. Well, I was expecting that this watch is gonna gonna look way too big for me. Hold on. I, I hope I haven't turned off the mic. I was expecting this watch to look way too big for me. And it does look a little bit, maybe, maybe. But physically it doesn't feel too big. Physically it doesn't hang off my wrist. I mean, look at it. Is it too big for me? Come on, it's a G-Shock. It's such a style. It's supposed to look that way. No, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Nice. Okay, let's move on. Next, next watch. This black G-Shock box. What do we have? Another one digital analog. Let's see. By the way, this feels kind of good. I, do, I wouldn't say it feels too big. It's very comfy. I like this strap. This strap feels very good. Pretty good. I like it. Okay, next watch. 
let me see it oh our hand is red minute hand is white i like these holes inside hands overall design is pretty nice also cool looking watch okay let's put it on the hand <laughs> yeah i can see this watch is meant for a little bit bigger wrists than mine <laughs> there are only three spaces left on my wrist the strap feels all right pretty good quality very soft it feels very soft i like that feeling feels good quality yeah also how how does it look like on me? Come on. Tell me the truth. Don't be nice. I know you are very nice. Just tell me. If it looks bad, just tell me straight away. It looks bad on you. Be honest. I'm not afraid of that. I came from gaming com community, you know? I used to be a, a gamer. <laughs> so I'm pretty much used to harsh comments and harsh people. <laughs> edgy teenagers, you know? And you people on YouTube are so nice. You're such a nice people. I mean, seriously. Okay. Nice watch. I like it. I like it. I wasn't ex. I was not expecting to like these big digital analog G-Shocks so much, but it turns out they are a lot of fun. Really, a lot of fun. Although I must admit, I look at them as I see them as some kind of fashion watches more than G-Shocks. For me G-Shock has to be first of all functional, not too big, not to get in the way. And these digital analog G-Shocks, they don't really seem to be very easy to use. So for me they are fashion watches but nothing bad about that. Very strong, indestructible fashion watches by the way. <laughs> Okay, this one. What do we have here? Oh, I was kind of waiting for this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, look, look at this. Doesn't it look cool? This is some kind of a retro styling. I'll tell you straight away, I won't hold up this opinion to the review. I think that out of all these big digital analog G-Shocks, this one has the biggest potential of becoming future classic. Like this watch could be still relevant in 10 years, 20 years as like classy G-Shock because of these colors of this layout is just, it just looks timeless. I think in no matter how many years this watch is still gonna still gonna look very cool yeah a big watch but that's a lot of fun and you know surprisingly even though they are very large watches and they do appear appear to be you know it's a big watch there is no way around it but they don't feel that big on the hand because g-shock wraps your hand around in such a nice way they're very well built watches i mean comfort wise Look, I'll show you. If I lock it off, look, the G-Shock stays in this shape. And even if you have a small hand, it still wraps around my hand so nicely. And my wrist, by the way, at this place is 16.5 centimeters. Okay, this G-Shock, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Impressed. I think it's future classic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm just having fun. And another one from the black black box this time. Black box. Oh, my cats are gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> they like boxes. It's the same except it's golden. I think it looks nice. I, I think it looks nice. Take take a better look. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Okay, let's put it on the hand. Oh, and these hands have white tips. It looks so good. It looks good. Oh, 
small, nice, I like these hands. I like this monochromatic tone, I mean it's just black and a little bit of gold. It's so, so good. It looks good. This looks good. I know big G-Shocks are not for everyone. I am one of those people who were not really interested in big G-Shocks. But, I mean, I cannot deny that's a lot of fun. Of course, I have to wear them for a while. Oh, by the way, look, the buckle is also golden. I don't know if that appears on camera, but this is golden. Wow. Yeah, I can't really complain, you know. I was expecting that they're gonna feel very big as well. Well, I do have to wear them out for several days before I tell you my opinion. But like straight away, I mean, they feel really good on the hand. And my hand is not big. And these watches are like XXL size, basically. Man, Casio really knows how to make watches. By the way, I'm, I'm still thinking about this one. It's a big surprise. I was not expecting from this watch anything at all. It looks so bad in pictures. And my gosh, it looks good. It looks good. I'm currently about very happy about this one and about this one. These two watches make me the most happy out of all of these watches that I currently unboxed. So let's move on to the, the last watch. Yeah, the last watch. Okay, the last gray box. Oh, I already know what it is. I already know what it is. I'm kind of excited about this one because it this one has that new type of an LCD screen and I'm very excited to try that new type LCD screen out. It looks very good in pictures and in videos but I never seen this LCD in person so I'm really feeling like a little kid right now. I really want to see how it is and how... Oh my gosh it's so sharp. Wow! This LCD screen is so sharp. I mean, look, this is, in my opinion, the best negative LCD screen out of all old style Casios and G-Shocks. This is the best. But this is new age, new tech. Oh my gosh, look at the difference. Look at the difference. I mean, yeah, at, at good light, both of them are very sharp, but a little bit of angle. And that's it. This, this one fades out. And I'm not. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, okay. Okay, you got me. You got me. And the whole watch, I mean the bezel, the design of this watch. Wow, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Look at these buttons. The whole design, it's kind of a lot of everything, but it still, still looks kind of tasteful. I mean, okay, let's put it on the hand. Oh, and this strap, I already like it. Finally, Casio is learning and making proper straps. I mean, these old Casios, they have a problem. The, the gap between these holes is too big. And sometimes I do even have to pinch an extra hole to find my per perfect fit. But look, Cass is learning from mistakes. Wow, this is gonna be good. Oh my gosh, it feels good. Oh my gosh, it feels good. It's so good. It's so soft. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at it. It's so good. Oh my god, I feel like a little kid. This screen is so good. Oh, and even little, little text on the face. It's so sharp and so good, so easy to read. Okay, okay. So guys, tell me which of these watches you're waiting for the review the most. I still have plenty of other watches waiting in line for a review. But, I mean, I couldn't pass this opportunity. I mean, look at these two. Look at these two beauties. This one as well. 
but I, I'm still, I'm still kind of. This is the biggest surprise to me. Wasn't expecting that. This I was kind of expecting that it's gonna be nice watch, but I mean it. In person, it looks stunning. It looks stunning. It's a really nice watch. And this one, the negative LCD screen, also wow. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Once again, okay. Once again, this is old style G-Shock. The same module comes into 5600 BB. It's it's the best old style negative LCD screen, at least to me from my personal experience. Sorry for holding the watch upside down. And now compare new age technology. I mean, this is like night and day. Oh my gosh, this watch, this watch might ruin me and it's gonna be very difficult for me to go back to these old style LCD screens. I don't know yet, but I'm afraid that might happen. And sorry for the stupid angle. Yeah. So I hope this video wasn't really too boring. <laughs> I'm really not putting effort in these unboxing videos. Sorry for that. I would rather put my effort into reviews. I mean proper videos and this one is just eh whatever just having fun i hope you're having fun as well <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching have a beautiful day goodbye